What's up, Jump Swans? It is your girl, you're not really random. And I'm a little bit low energy, not because I'm like tired or I'm sad. It's because I just woke up and um, I just woke up, but I wanted to go get a package because yesterday I got a message saying that a package was ready for me downstairs. But the problem was I don't remember ordering anything. So what is in this package? I thought I'd take this moment to show you how I go about getting my package and talk about that process and also open up the package with you now I've gotten a few packages at my apartment I've gotten a few packages for a while but this is the first time that I've gotten a package and I just do not know what it is but I'm guessing that it's from Stuart it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up I have to say that the process is quite simple. I just go downstairs and outside of my building, there's another store. So the way they do it is like the bottom floors of your apartment buildings are also shops. Um, not necessarily directed inside of the building, but directed outside. So like we're surrounded by stores. Um, so I go outside to a store and it's literally to my left and I just walk in and now this store has like a package area. Now all of the packages for this apartment is in that area. I think it's because they can't just leave your package at your door even though I'm just like just leave it. Like I ordered an exercise machine the other day. It was 15 pounds. I had to go and lug it to my place. So it's like just leave it at my door. But I think that it's a really interesting situation to have. And I don't think that it would be really applicable in America. Like I really don't understand it too much. Like, you know, we just leave a package at the door and we're good. Um, however, what they do is every time you get a package, they will send you like a text message and like, they send you a text message. Let me pull it up so I know what I'm looking for. They sent me a text message yesterday. I don't know if you see that, but it says 1140003. So I come in here in the store and it's like working out like this. And I look for 11. I look for 11. Jen. This is one. But you see, this is kind of how it's set up. And like each level has a number, you know. But yeah, I'm in the package room. I feel like a mail worker now. I don't see it. I don't see 11. Did I miss it? No, this is 12. 12. Okay, 11. Okay, so 11, 4, 1, 0, 0, 3. So, 11, 4, 1, 0, 0, 3. What is this? You know, the only thing the package really says is live well and funny. I'm gonna start an avalanche. So once you get the package, you come over here to this like little machine, right? And you put your package down. Now, you put your package down, you move it forward, it scans it. Then you take your package. It's pretty like clear, you know, but it's still something very interesting because it's not something you would do in America. And even when I was living in Korea, we had a 
problem where I had a package go missing. It was not something that we would do in Korea either. So it's like this the very, very detailed process set up just for where I am, which is in Korea. I am still not telling you guys where I am, but yeah, we'll, I'll turn back on the camera once I get back inside of the house. I just thought this would be a good thumbnail. Be like, I'm trash. I had problems with people like taking pictures of me like right outside of my apartment building. I was like, oh, you classless individuals. Like, you know, even though I record, I try not to like record anyone in my photos. Like, how are you gonna take a photo of me right outside of my home? That's dangerous. You know, it was a little old lady. Someone told me, like when that happens, just go up to them and tell them, hey, you know, not cool, stop. But I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Go intimidate an old person? You know, that's awkward. You know, maybe they should just not do it, you know? Maybe I shouldn't have to complain about my privacy being violated if they didn't violate my privacy. You feel me? Because I just, another thing, have you ever been on an elevator and as it went up, your urge to pee went up as well? Because, like, sometimes I be getting on this elevator having to pee really bad and they'll start going up and I'll be like, ooh, ooh, gravity. Gravity is a thing and it is real. Very, very real. And we're back. I'm sitting in my office slash bedroom. Um, and I just got this package. Now, first things first, I think I know what it came from. I think it came from my set of, uh, set of pots and pans. However, I already have a big box of this in my living room. If you guys don't know, I've been overseas since I want to say December. It is now June and I just bought pots and pans for my house. So that kind of tells you that all I've been doing is eating out like every day. Not even gonna lie. So this is a part of that set. The only reason I can tell is because it has a cat on it. But I, I didn't open everything from my set. I still have everything inside of the box. So I guess I should just open everything from the set and show you why I bought it and tell you how much it cost. I bought it because it's freaking adorable. That is why I bought it. Like, no doubt about it. Ugh. No doubt about it. It's so adorable. It's so cute. It's so one of a kind. It's so me. Let me see. Oh, I know what this is. Oh. Oh, look, you guys. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, look, you guys. Look. Look, this is a knife holder and a knife sharpener. I didn't know it had the sharpening part, but yeah. Duh, it's trying to fall apart. You just got in my house. Chillax. Gosh. Y'all saw that? Disrespectful, but anyway, this is a knife holder, okay? And that just makes me want to open all of the different pieces for you. So I will be right back. I will bring the box in here. Okay, I'm back. And I think the reason why I haven't like really opened up anything is the longer you put off opening up a container with things that you have to cook with, the longer you don't have to cook. So next thing that I have to open is we have a steamer, you know, it, I don't think that this was one of the things that was on the list of things that I got. I just got an extra steamer. Um, 
And past that point, we have more things to open. So I'm just going to, I guess, put this on the table right there and let's continue to go. Now, <laughs> this is one of my pots. I love opening things. Wow. Wow. Okay. My handle is still in the box. <laughs> it's such an interesting way to package things. So here's my handle. I have to screw my handle in? Where's the screw? Don't tell me I'm screwed. Don't tell me I'm screwed. <gasps> ah. Where's my screw? That feels disrespectful. <laughs> They're like, here you go. This needs to be screwed with a screwdriver and a screw. And no bent screws. It has to be a regular screw. And they give me this and I have no screw. Let me see this. Oh, here's a screw. It's on my pot. I never thought about how I'd have to put my pots together. Okay. This is one of my pots. It has like the little cat. That is open so it can like pour out. And then you can also put your um, put your spatula or anything on top of it. This is how this top is made. So I do have to put this on here later on today. But just imagine that it's together. Yeah, so I really did buy this set because of aesthetics. I'm not even gonna lie and be like, oh no, I bought it because I really wanna cook. Mm, come on, it's me, it's me. I bought it because it was cute, okay? And I thought, okay, if it's cute, I'll cook more. Also, it's like, it's pink, uh, like a pinkish, brownish, rose goldish type of vibe with it. I didn't even know that it had the rose gold, but it does. So next we're going to open up this. We're just opening up everything. Um, how have you guys been doing? You know? <laughs> I'm overseas. I'm just chilling. Not much as... I didn't order this, but there's storage containers. There's storage containers. Wow. <laughs> wow, amazing. There's storage containers. It says happiness hides in life's small details. If you're not looking, it becomes invisible. I wonder if all of them have different ones or yeah now I have little containers like wow <laughs> it might seem so oh this is a big one and this is a medium size one oh Panda such a woman you know you get you get like freaking things like this and you're like wow the, the reason why I didn't open my uh, pots and pans yet is because I knew I had to wash them once I opened them and I was like eh I don't know if I want to take on washing right now like my house is not in good shape it's not in bad shape it's not in good shape so I didn't want to take on extra but I guess I have to I guess I have to, huh? 
I guess I have to, huh? Oh, you guys don't stack on top of each other? That's kind of a waste. Let me see. Y'all should stack. Okay, boom. It does. Yeah, I had to make sure. I was like, why aren't you stacking? Why aren't you stackable, baby? Why aren't you stackable? So let me just toss that to the side. We have, you know, good old, you know, spatulas. We have uh, this spatula, you know. It's just like you're opening everything, Elliot. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ow! We have this one. I'm gonna be domesticated pretty soon. You know how the domestication goes. Domestication. Domestication. It's all aesthetic at this point. It's all like, wow, you bought this because it looks good, huh, Leah? And then I would be like, of course not. Of course I bought it because I, I wanted to cook. I wanted to take better care of myself. I love myself. I do love myself. You know, that's, that, that's a joke and a truth. You know what I'm saying? I love myself. I just wanted to... <gasps> oh, look at your spatula. Focus on the spatula. It has, like, things on there. I don't know how to describe it. It has things on there. Yeah. My spatula is spatulaying. <laughs> I think this is going to be the nice. I don't think the knives are like super special. They might be pink, but. And y'all know, I don't know if y'all know this. I don't even like pink, you know? I don't. I like green the best. Green makes me happy. And like pink, oh, oh, it is a knife. It is a knife. Look at the package. Look at the package. It is a knife. It's time to murder some people. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. It has like a little cat eating a watermelon. <laughs> a watermelon. Oh, let me be careful before I cut myself. It's heavy. Let me tell y'all something. This is a heavy knife. I put it in here. I don't know if it's supposed to go in there. Maybe if I turn it. Maybe it needs to go in that way. I don't know. But yeah, it was a knife. What else is in here? This is exciting. Oh, it's some more knives, probably. Let's see. I love how it, they tell you how long each knife is. So this is a... 105 milliliter knife. So like a steak knife, I want to say. 
And it has the same thing as the uh, as the other one. It has the same thing. Look at um, a little man eating a watermelon. So I guess I just shove it in, shove it in the hole. I just need to shove it in. This is a 180 milliliter knife. Do you need so many knives? Like, let's be real. I don't know what these different types of knives are for. You know? Like, I just be realistic with you guys. I don't know what these different types of knives are for. Like, I know they're not butter knives. They're pretty sharp, but. Oh, and another big knife. Why do I have two big knives? Do I have to look up, like, the different types of knives? Is that something I have to do? Do I have to know? What is this knife for? What are these knives for? I want to use knives properly. Can someone tell me? Maybe I'll look it up after this. Like, oh yeah, what is this knife for? And then I'll know. It's kind of boring, isn't it? I'm sorry. But if it's not boring, like, you're just chilling, just chill with me. Take a moment out of your busy day to look at my not so busy day too. Cause I'm not busy today. Yesterday, I was out and about, but I'm not that, innocent i'm sorry that just popped into my head um and if it popped into your head too make sure you hit that subscribe button i feel like if you're here this late in the game and you're not like following me you know i don't know you know like i don't know how to say it like come on babes <gasps> oops i did it again i played with your heart so this is like another thing, okay? It's a cutting board. It's a wooden cutting board. It's a wooden cutting board. And how it works is you take these ears and you put these ears on the cutting board. these ears on the cutting board so you have a left ear and you have a right ear you put them on so then when you're cutting this is the tail but you can also hang up the cutting board with this when you're cutting you can just go and you have your things separated like isn't it freaking adorable you can't tell me this isn't adorable. Cat theme things. I'm gonna like cat theme. I like anything that's not necessarily normal. You know, anything that's not necessarily the norm, I love. I'm going to miss going back to America and not being able to bring these with me. Cause like what I look like bringing these all the way to America. I could probably just order it again, leave it here and order it again once I get to America. But I like having like cute little things. Like I like having like little knickknacks. And I think that these will make me happy to have in America. Now the thing is, I don't know if these are like really good pots and pans. All I know is they're cute. <laughs> And I wonder, is cute enough? Like, will these stick? So I guess in the future, as I like cook with my pots and pans, I'll have to let you know. I'm like, wait a minute, you guys. This pot and pan set really actually sucks. Everything sticks to the pan. But I think if things are sticking, I'm missing the piece. I think if everything is sticking to the pan, then it's just not enough oil, you know? <laughs> Oops. 
Did it again. I messed with your heart and you fell in love. Ooh, baby, baby. Oops, I think you're a pain. I was just making sure it went on the right way. But yeah. So, I think I have everything at this point. This big thing is like the last pot. So I have little pot, pan, big pot, cutting board, knife set. I don't have the scissors. I don't have the scissors. I was looking forward to having some scissors. Maybe that's why they gave me the other the other set, the, the plastic. They're like, ah, we don't have those scissors anymore. I think they came with scissors. They were like, eh, we don't have no scissors anymore. Let's just send this to her. You know, they never sent me the other piece of this set. I wouldn't have noticed. Lazy kitchen. Wow, what are you trying to say? I feel offended. <laughs> I feel offended. No, I feel offended. Just trying to make sure that I'm not missing nothing. Even though I know I'm missing my scissors. Because they, I think it was supposed to come with the scissors. Personally. Personally. And my personality. In my personal ways of thinking, I thought that I would get scissors. Why else would you give me a scissor place on my cutting board if my if I'm not gonna have no scissors, okay? You know, make it make sense. Make it make some sense. But anyway, this is the last piece. I might keep this box. All the other boxes. Mm. But this box. What is this? It's a screw. This came with its own spatula, so it's fancy now. I don't know why it came with its own spatula, but it's fancier than... Wow. It looks the same. So it came with its own spatula. Put you to the side. Put you to the side. This is the handle. The handle has screws inside of it. So I just like, I don't know, turn it the other way. So the screw doesn't fall out. They didn't tell me I would have to put my stuff together though. I think this is a walk. Walk, 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 walk. Dashing through the snow. It feels like Christmas, y'all. And I want hearts open sleigh. Yes, it do. Over the hills we go. Laughing all the way. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Hey. <gasps> it came with a screwdriver. I did not expect that. 
So this is the final pot. It's just a pink pot. It's kind of like a walk. What is this? Lifelong quality by Silkwear. I don't know what that means. It's supposed to be lifelong though. Silkwear, it passed the QRC code. I don't know what any of this means, but I'm probably not gonna be cooking hardcore with this anyway. So, yeah, looky. This is my new pot and pan set. It's pink and it's cute. That's all. Bye! <laughs>